All right, so I'm going to get started on the back and I've got my water just off off camera and I'm gonna keep things really remember it's nice to have um, when we're blending a lot of water so I'm gonna go ahead and put some clean water on the piece and I'm gonna start kind of in the middle and work my way out um, it just it doesn't really matter where you start just pick it you could start on your your exterior and work your way in but I want to you know I feel like the most beautiful portion of this thing is this beautiful kind of glowing yellow so I want to get that laid in first and you can see that the glowing yellow kind of encompasses this whole background area kind of in like the shape of like a half semicircle and so you can see I put some water on the piece and I'm just going to kind of tip up my enamel and see I've got a blob a blob that's a technical term and I'm just going to start kind of setting some of the, and these are very pale colors so you don't I'm actually putting you can see I'm putting quite a lot of material on there um, but we're gonna be blending them and I feel like I even want some more water and because these are very light colors if you see any specks you know I've been using these colors a lot um, so if I see any little specks of other contaminant colors or flux, I'm gonna pick them out before I fire it. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of lay in some yellow, kind of definitely here. There's almost entirely yellow there. And then I can kind of see it kind of just like that. Just like that. There we go, and obviously, oh, you can see I definitely, oh, it's, there we go. We want some over there, and I'm definitely gonna put, I don't have any yellow here, but now that I'm looking at it in real life, I'm gonna put a little yellow here, bring this yellow, so you can kinda see I'm just placing the yellow. There we go, that's a nice amount of yellow. And then we go into the purple, which is a really pretty, there we go. So, and I'm just going to, remember we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap in between. Not too much, because these are real pale colors. And I'm going to put this purple just like that. And I'm not worried whatsoever about them crawling under the wires because we're putting a darker, and I'm actually probably gonna blend this whole area first. And you can see I've left a little bit of space right here and I'm gonna drop, see there's a bit of drop of water on my brush, I'm gonna drop that right in the middle. And then just ever so nicely feather. I might even put a little bit more See how it's a little sparse on the ground there? I might put a little bit more yellow or whichever color. There you go. Just like that. Just feather it gently. Um, then we'll have some purple here as well. Put some of this. Oh, but for the people that bought the kits, I hope you'll, you'll definitely appreciate the fun freebie that came with it. It's a little... <laughs> In preparation for the next project of Opals, um, I gave everyone that bought this kit a tiny little sample, a nice, a good sample of T8 um, Opal Blossom because that's going to be kind of our main color for the next project, our Opal project. All right, that's nice. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the, the all the purple before I, I bring the blue in because I want to have some purple on the top as well. I've just decided that that's just the way I'm going to go. Um, I don't have it in my drawing here, but now I'm changing it. I just like to, I like to see a little bit of that. There we go. And see how there's a nice drop? That's why I like this particular brush holds the water nicely. Just feather it there we go and because they're so close it's funny you like a purple into a yellow how does that blend so beautifully and I might even put a little bit more just like that and I'm ready to put some blue on here 
It's about not overcomplicating things. Remember, it's just A, B, C, kind of in a nice circular fashion. There we go. And yeah, we'll do the blue next. Now with the blue, I'm probably gonna do quadrants and blend as I go because now we're getting kind of into a really big area. So, but we'll start with this top because it's the wettest. See if I have enough. I don't, I was, I've been using, and I can see a speck of dark blue in here that I've been working around for literally, oh, like I just pulled it out. I've been eyeballing that speck of blue for a week because <laughs> I've been using a lot of this color. Uh, and I never bothered to take it out until that very moment. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and go right to the edge here. And I'm just going to literally set this blue right on. And you can see my silver leaf ended a little short. I probably should have made my circle a little bigger, uh, but that's fine because this is the darker color. So I'm just going to literally All right, this is out and if it sticks itself to the trivet, let it be stuck to the trivet because that makes it a little bit easier to work with. So um, that's actually a good thing for this kind of a piece um, because now I know it's a little bit more stable, but look how subtle this gradation is uh, because I don't wanna have the light yellow. There won't be any difference there. Remember we want differences. So I'm just gonna let this hug the outside of that wire, just like that. There we go, see how it's just like that? And then I'm just gonna put a dollop of this very light, go ahead and focus that. We're gonna take a little bit of this pale yellow, a nice blob, and just plop it right in the middle there. There we go. And then gently, with a lot of water, just ever so gently fanning it out. There we go, perfect. That was the easiest thing we did today. All right, so gosh, where are we gonna start? This is, all right, I think I'm going to start maybe with this. Oh, um, we can trim, I'm not gonna trim this wire just yet, because I don't want, I don't feel like I have enough enamel, but I can trim those other wires. So we can just gently go around the edge like that. Let's just let them fall. There we go. And I'm trimming them at a 90 degree. I don't want to trim them inward because we will grind and I'm not going to worry too much. That one has a little bit of enamel attached to it. There we go. There we go. All right. And we'll do this other little one after we get a little bit more enamel in there. All right. So we'll start with this big one because it goes from blue to purple to blue. So water, remember. There we go. And, and remember these are the dark elements. So, but you don't have to go too dark. Look, I'm putting a lot of blue on there. And I'm going to kind of see how it kind of wraps just like that. So we got the blue and underneath here is gonna be blue. So I can go ahead and just, that's just gonna be some flat blue. But you can see I put water in, so it just picks up, it just pulls the enamel from my brush. There we go. And then we're gonna end up with blue here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all the blue on this ribbon. Just like that. And we have a lot of water, that's good. 
and then down to blue here. Just like that. I might go to pink again or maybe even purple there. Ooh, exciting. So that's good. Now remember our hot pink is going to go here. And I have slightly different colors than the drawing. I've got kind of a purple and a pink. And I'm going to just the sun red. And this is kind of flecky. You can see that there's little flecks of different shades in there. Don't worry about it. It's just the kind of enamel. Some enamels are a little flecky, especially the reds. You see little flecks of light and dark. And so I'm going to get that in there just like that. And now I'm going to blend as I go. Just blend it. So it's a nice long ribbon. So it gives us a lot of area to blend. And remember, add more water. And keep your eye and make sure nothing's creeping under there. There's a lot to keep your eye on. And we will just All right, this is out of the kiln, and I'm really liking how these colors are coming out. I can see right here, I think, I see how this light is really light. I think what happened is um, when I closed the door, because I've got kind of a janky door, all of this enamel just fell out. So I'm going to actually put, definitely put some more dark blue enamel right here, and then when I put it in my trivet, that's why I pulled it off the trivet, I'm going to tilt the trivet up a little bit so it protects that little area. Um, and doesn't let that fall out because it's just a little too close to the edge. Um, and hopefully that will take care of it. Now I'm looking, I'm liking how this is looking. I've got this interesting kind of orange stuff, which I actually don't mind. I might actually put a little, no, I don't know. I think we might just leave it. I think it's good. Um, and I like how, see how the hot pink right here kind of came out. I might punch that up a little bit and we have two coats of enamel over the whole thing. So at this point, we are going to switch in the areas that are perfectly good, and I love the color, we're going to switch to a clear enamel. And I am going to be using N4. I like this, this is a Ninomiya top coat enamel. 